Are you having a hard time calibrating your activity bot? Today I'm going to go over some basic troubleshooting tips that will help you troubleshoot your activity bot, get it calibrated, and get in your on your way. I will cover electrical connections, centering your servos, and checking your battery power. So when your calibration fails, it is good to check your electrical connections because most likely that is where the issue lies. First thing that you want to check are your resistors, your 20k resistors right here going from P14 to 3.3 volts and P15 to 3.3 volts. Another potential area that you would like to check is that your jumper is going from ground to VN and not 5 volts. One of the biggest potential trouble spots is that these servos, these servo cables sometimes get misplaced into the encoder connections or vice versa. So your left servo should go into P12. Your right servo should go into P13. Your left encoder will go into P14 and your right encoder will go into P15. So another common mistake is that these wires either one of them or a few of them or all of them end up being backwards. I've seen cases where the wire is like this, where the ground connection is on the positive side and you don't want that, that will cause a short. You want a, a, quick, a quick check is to have all your white wires facing towards the outside or the side of the robot toward, or towards the outside and the black wires facing towards the inside. You also want to check that your encoders, that your encoder connection right in here is socketed all the way in. Oftentimes if those come loose, that'll give you an error in your interpolation table or your calibration. What you want to do also is check your battery power. And a good way to do that is by pulling out your jack on your activity box taking a voltmeter and inserting it into the jack. Place the selector on your multimeter to DC voltage. Take the negative lead of your voltmeter and rest it right on the outside of the jack. An ideal voltage range will be between 7 to 8 volts. So here I'm calibrating my activity bot. It is very important to not touch the activity bot while it's calibrating and wait until it stops moving and P26 and P27 turn off completely. Handling the activity bot before P26 and P27 turn off may prevent the calibration data from fully downloading to the EEPROM. If you notice that your activity bot just keeps on spinning and doesn't stop, there could be two things. One, check your electrical connections that we covered before. Two, center your servos. Each activity bot is gonna have its own characteristics depending on how centered its servos are. Oftentimes, your servos are so far off center that the calibration program cannot compensate for how off they are. So by centering your servos, you're helping out the calibration program calibrate the activity bot. You can center your servos with the program that I've linked below. Well, that's it for now. And until next time, stay tuned for more troubleshooting tips.